What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now, this is another episode in our series of what resources and what strategies do I have for various classes in medical school. Now, today is for pathology, a very important class in second year. I would say the most important class ever. Why? Because pathology is medicine. If you know your path, you know what's going on. We talked about micro, yeah, that's important, but a lot of micro causes path, so you gotta know your path. Path is important, so let's get right to it. Let's talk about resources. What should you be studying from? Anything you want. Kidding, no, there's, no, nah, you can say anything you want, sure. But there's pretty much things that everyone has found that these are good and we should use them. So let's talk about hardcore textbooks first and then review. So, Everyone, almost everyone, I should say, for pathology reads a, many, a, a text by the name of Robbins. And then there's formally, or not formally, but casually known among your classmates, Big Robbins, Medium Robbins, and Small Robbins. Who's who? What's the difference? Big Robbins is named Big Robbins because it's big. Look at this huge thing. It makes my biceps look big. Right? This is your it's Robbins pathologic basis of disease. Look how big it is. This thing is humongous. I can actually work out with this sometimes, as you can tell. Do some curls here. No, it's a big book, right? Hence, we call it Big Robbins. What do you do with this? This, okay, if you, this is what I was told and I like it. If you know every bit of path in this book, you're going to kill all your kind of clinical rotations. I don't know if that's true. I kind of don't believe it. But I just like the idea that someone believes that everything you need to know for path is in here. Is it? I would guess so because I use this as a reference text. What do some crazy classmates do? Um... I don't know if they're crazy, but bless their hearts. They sit there and read this whole thing through. Do I do that? I found that to be kind of a uh, inefficient and not so classy way to do it. Um, I sort of do that in the beginning because, you know, everyone, there was a lot of hype that, you know, you should be reading everything in Big Robin. And if you can, that's great. But the problem that I faced was that um, there is a lot of information in obviously in Big Robin. And if you've been following the theme of all my t of all my videos here, if a book is this big, it has to be littered with low yield content. And there is. So there's a lot of info in here. And the problem that I faced was that after I finished the chapter, I forgot so much. All right. And so I didn't like that. So what do I do with Big Robins now? I don't re use, so pathology was like, excuse me, the course to learn what to do. And again, I'll apologize for my cat on the table. He has his back to you. Very rude cat these days, and he's following his own tail. How smart! But um, big Robins, I don't read. Yeah, he's he's trying to catch his tail. That's how smart he is. Um, but anyways, big Robins, I don't read it as like a textbook like I used to in the beginning of the year. I learned. Um, you can if you want, but I use it as a reference text. What does that mean? So like always, number one thing you need to do: learn your. Um, my cat is making this very difficult. But anyways, learn the lecture notes, learn the core notes, whatever the faculty or the professors at your school are teaching, you need to learn that and make sure you know it cold because that's how you're going to get tested. But in addition, you need to be doing your own reading. Um, second year course is Path Farm Micro. I found that just going by the core notes or the lecture notes is not enough. I needed to sit and read a good textbook to get it, like to figure it out in my mind. Um, the, uh, for me, that's just how the content was and um, that's what I needed to do. So I started off reading Big Robins and I didn't like it. So. Then we have what's called medium robins. Why is it called medium robins? Well, look, it's like half a size. It's the medium version. So this is robins basic pathology. Don't look at the word basic and think, oh, it's for elementary school. No, come on. It's actually the, practically the same thing. It's a lot less details. Um, so remember for physio, we had uh, Guyton Hall, and then we had the Costanzo. This, that, like the big one would be like your Guyton Hall, and here's like your Costanzo, right? And so it's practically the same thing, actually. I, I, I sometimes have them side by side, and I'm like, what's the difference? But just details. So what do I read as my textbook for PATH? Medium Robins. I love it. And then if I want more detail, or if I'm getting pimped by a faculty, I go to Big Robins and try to show off what I know by memorizing something and then regurgitating it. But um, seriously though, I read Medium Robins and I think it's great. There are people out there that will tell you, oh, Medium Robins, you don't know anything. You should be reading Big Robins. Well, those people can do that. And if you secretly go look at them at night through like a magnifying glass through, or a telescope, whatever, you'll see they're probably reading Medium Robins. Or they're trying their best in Big Robins and they're dying because it's very tough. There are people that do it. And if God 
bless your heart, your memory's amazing. But for normal people like me, um, I didn't like Big Robins. I didn't think it was all that fruitful because I spent so much time reading. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't getting that much. So medium Robins, you can read it more than once. That's why I like it. Repetition and the details practically the same. Come on. Okay, so medium Robins. That's what I use for my textbook. I reference with Big Robins. Then there's something that's kind of new. It's something called Pathoma. And um, I love Pathoma. What is Pathoma, you're wondering? Uh, so Pathoma is this, um, it's this book that it comes with. It's like an outline kind of thing. And um, it's a subscription you pay for. It's like a, it's like, uh, I think it's like 80 to to $100, depending on what kind of discount you can get. And uh, my school, like the, the students who all got together and we got some kind of big group discount. And what Pathoma is, is it's a series of videos. And they're like these lectures that this guy records, uh, Dr. Sitar. He's a pathologist over at... Uh, University of Chicago Prison School of Medicine. And so what he did is he has these like PowerPoints and it's just a recording of his PowerPoints with like this digital pen that he writes on. And it's just like, so this this content here is just the same content you see in his PowerPoint so you can annotate. Uh, my, mine's thin because I cut it out and I put it into my first aid. But um, it's the same so you can follow along with the videos. And he just goes through and teaches you all the paths. So what do I do? I order Pathoma because it's really great. It's like a nice, it, it's the same, it's, it's Remember we talked about things that are tiny or high yield? Who do you think has got more high yield? Medium Robins or Pathoma? Obviously Pathoma. Come on. If you see something that's really skinny and thin, that means it's loaded, jam-packed, smushmuggled with high yield information. So that's what I like. It's pure high yield. So if I have class, you know, lecture coming up, I will watch the Pathoma video for that lecture, follow along with this book, annotate, and then go to lecture you know, having reviewed at least something, and it's high yield, and then you go and get a bunch more detail that you don't think is all that interesting, and then you come back out and you read Medium Robbins. That's my simple strategy. Introduction with Pathoma, go to lecture, see what the school wants you to learn, um, usually the same thing, and then come home, read Medium Robbins, and you're fine. And then reference Big Robbins if you like, if you need to. But Pathoma is, in my opinion, my saving grace, because pathology is a brand new topic, and having these videos of a guy who's an amazing teacher, in my opinion, interactive, fun, pimps you with questions, to give you the introduction to pathology, your first run through, he does it in a simple way, it's all high yield. So after I've, you know, you know, watched Pathoma, gone lecture, gone back and read Medium Robbins, I'll go through Pathoma again and again and again because it's that good. It's that high yield. It's that straightforward. It's that direct. So, if you remember, so I kind of try to memorize Pathoma because I think it's really worth it. But look, there's more books. God forbid that that'd be all of it. So, if you remember from the uh, Biochem video, there was a uh, Rapid Review Biochemistry, and now I'm going to show you the ultimate gotta review books here. Rapid Review Pathology by Golion. Go know the name Golion. Hint, hint, go search it online, look for Golion Lecture, that's all I'm going to say. But here I did the whole spiral bound thing again, because uh, it was like five, ten bucks. And you can just get it, because if, if, you're, if you're in it so much, you know, you can do this whole like thing like this, and then like, oh, how much easier is this to read now? Because if you read it all the time, and actually it's laminated pages. I, I like books that have good paper in them. So, rapid review path. These two things are going to save your life, in my opinion. And Medium Robbins is a book to read to kind of get it all in your head. But Rapid Review and Pathoma, these things are so money. It's I feel like I'm holding like a treasure chest right now with Path. These two are money. Look at that face. Money. Did you get the point? If you didn't get it, I'll say it again. Money. That's how good these are. Pathoma, yeah, it's expensive. you got to pay. But that's life. Get over it. Uh, it's, it's not that bad because it's like 100 bucks, but you get all those videos, hours and hours of great teaching in this book. And Rapid Review Golion, there's no way not to buy this. Step one, shelf, I don't care. You have to buy it. Do I get paid by Golion to say this? No, I wish I did. Um, but really, this is how much I support this book. It's that nice. It's that direct. It's amazing. And if you can get your hand on the, on the audio lectures, wink, wink, uh, it follows along right with it. So it's great. Um, so did you get the point yet? Watch Pathoma beforehand. Thank God that that's someone made that Pathoma program. It's that good. And then go to lecture, have fun, come home, read Medium Robbins. If you're super interested and interested in something, get out the big Robbins and read the details. But I rarely do that because, you know, by this point, Medium Robbins, Pathoma, and the lecture have covered it all. Man, relax. So you've covered it all, and you're like, man, test is coming up. What do I do? Go over the material again and again and again. I'm getting bored. No, you don't do that. You get bored after a while. So two books here. Uh, Robin's Review of Path. It's the same guy that makes Robin's. And right here, just, and all it is is question, 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 with detailed answers. Not bad, right? And then this one, okay, this one I give five stars to good quality questions. 
This one I got as a hand-me-down from one of my big sibs. Ruben's Pathology. I have never heard of this. Um, the questions are not that, they're not as hard as Robin. So I guess this is a good thing to do in the beginning to kind of warm yourself up, but I got it for free, so yeah. Um, but it's not a bad book, but definitely this one trumps all. And if you can get this for cheap, why not? But the questions are a little bit too easy, in my opinion. It's kind of direct and straightforward. There are not a lot of secondary and tertiary questions. These questions are tough. Good. So, that was PATH. Let's go through it really quickly once more so you get the point. It'll be like a test. What is this? Big Robins. What do you do with it? Reference it when you want. Do you want to read it? If you have amazing memory, go ahead. What's this? Medium Robins. Do you read it? Yes. It's a good book. It's not that long, and it's like the book I used to learn my PATH. What's this? Pathoma. God, it's like the goal to me of life. Videos. It's a video series online that comes with this. You just like watch little video lectures. Uh, I think you can watch them three times in total, but it's amazing. Please, you know, you can actually do a free trial, I think, or something uh, to watch like two free videos online. Just check it out. You'll be happy you did. And uh, what's this? Rapid review. Golion Godsend. You have to annotate this. You have to, you have to, you have to. Come shelf, come step one. You'll be happy you did. And um, I guess I scared my cat there. And questions. You have to do questions. Questions make everything complete. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like pathology. I was going to say I love it, but I don't love it because uh, it's painful at times. But it's so much fun. It's, it's, it's like the medicine we've all been dying to learn. First year was like, oh, so much basic science. Oh, what is all this? Second year, finally, 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 we're studying all the cool medicine stuff we've always been hearing about. And finally, you're learning it in good detail. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave comments. If you disagree with something, let me know. I'm sure I'll be happy to respond. And as always, enjoy your studies.